So this painting is a very special painting. It uh, sits in the Loire Valley. It's called Chateau Azé Le Rideau. It's basically 120 miles southwest of Paris. Now the reason I brought this painting here because I want to communicate with you in different mediums. Okay, literature is one thing, book is one thing, speech is one thing, but we can communicate in different mediums. It was painted by my sister-in-law, uh, Beatrice Monser Jean Guergui, another French name. Here we go. I can never pronounce them; they're so complicated. But anyway. So it is the castle, but 12 years ago when I spent an incredible afternoon in the chateau grounds, it was the afternoon sunlight that was casting the orange hue on the castle, the sky and the trees. My sister-in-law came up with this composition because I wanted her to capture not only the castle, not only place, not only the time, but the emotions that were generated at that very experience that happened 12 years ago. She changed the castle color. Actually, it's a gray castle. It's a pretty sad looking castle, but now it looks orange as it is. The spires are a lot taller than the usual because I wanted to have that fairy tale look. So when I look at this painting, I relive the experience that I had 12 years ago at the Azai de Rideau. What's interesting about that is you, can, you may ask, how can you relive the experience 12 years ago? I can because I VMAXed it. When I looked at those trees, I saw the light penetrating in, in, uh, between the wavering leaves and the light afternoon breeze. I can take a deep breath and smell the musty, humid air underground tunnels. I can know everything about this castle like the back of my hand because the attention to detail from the analytical perspective, it was surmounting. I knew everything about that place. So what I want you to know that you can capture not only the place, the building and the view, but you can capture emotions in the medium of canvas and paint. 